I'm originally from South Carolina, and now I'm all the way over in California in Silicon Valley. And here, software is all about optimism. It's not just a means to an end, it's this thing that gives us hope to solve every problem that the world potentially has. Moving your sprites around the screen means using a very familiar pattern, the counter pattern. This pattern lets you add to the position or rotation of your sprite on each tick of the draw loop. So it looks like it's moving or rotating at different speeds. Here's an example we've seen before. Using the counter pattern with the sprites X property, we can control a sprite's velocity, how fast it's moving in a particular direction. If we add a larger amount to the X position, the sprite looks like it's moving faster. Adding a smaller amount makes the sprite look like it's moving more slowly. You've been using the counter pattern to control a sprite's velocity a lot. In programming, when the same pattern happens many times, you can often hide those details inside another block. In our example, that block is velocity x. The velocity x property hides the details of the counter pattern that changes the sprite's x position. Whatever number you assign to this property will automatically be added to your sprite's x position on the next tick of the draw loop. This program creates a sprite, gives it an animation, and then draws it on the screen. Now let's give that sprite a velocity by setting its velocity x property to 1, just once at the beginning of the program. When we rerun the program, we see that the sprite's position is updated. Under the hood, the velocity x property and the counter pattern are used to update the sprite's position, moving it across the screen. The other new properties that work in a similar way are velocity y, which controls velocity in the vertical direction, and rotation speed, which controls how fast the sprite rotates. The under the hood behaviors of velocity x, velocity y, and rotation speed are all things you've tackled in previous lessons. Now, we get to let those blocks handle the details for us and explore new ways of moving sprites on the screen.